As women, we have the power to take control of our bodies and our health. That means routine visits to the OBGYN. Such visits are absolutely necessary, especially when it comes to cervical cancer. I'm Chris Hurdy. Hi. I just have some questions for you, if that's okay. okay. Today, one in 145 women in the United States will develop cervical cancer in her lifetime. Now, I'm probably due pap smear. When's your last pap? Uh, about six months ago. Have you Dr. Christine Hurdy oh, is a board-certified obstetrician gynecologist. The cervix is at the opening of the uterus, and it is lined with cells that over time can change. They can invade the cervical tissue and eventually spread to other organs and cause damage and that's how cervical cancer is created. If the cancer is found and treated early, as many as 90 percent of women who have it can be cured. One way to safeguard your health is to have routine pap tests, also known as pap smears. We actually take cells from the outside of the cervix and we look at those cells to see if there's any abnormalities that may be cancer. Women should have their first pap test at the age of 21, then every two years until age 30. Women age 30 and older who have had three normal pap tests in a row can have a pap test every three years. Women with certain risk factors may need more frequent screening. It's important to talk with your doctor about what is best for you. HPV is a common infection of the cervix. It's known as human papillomavirus. There are over 100 types of HPV. Out of the 100 types, most are benign, but a few do cause cervical cancer. Girls and women ages 9 to 26 should get the HPV vaccine. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommends the HPV vaccine be routinely given to all girls ages 11 to 12. However, it can be given to girls as young as 9. How else can you prevent cervical cancer? Be monogamous, practice safe sex, and don't smoke. Hold your breath. Your OBGYN can explain more to you about cervical cancer and how you can protect yourself. It's important for women to visit their OBGYNs every year. Regular visits help ensure that you receive age-appropriate screenings, exams, and immunizations, and allow physicians to identify and treat common problems before they become a serious health risk. We consider a yearly visit to the obstetrician gynecologist a well woman visit. That's a very important visit for your health. It consists of general maintenance like height, weight, blood pressure, and also a physical exam, breast exam, and pelvic exam, and your physician may include a pap test. Your doctor may test blood sugar, cholesterol, and thyroid levels. Additional blood, urine, and sexually transmitted infection tests, as well as screenings for osteoporosis, breast, and colorectal cancers can be arranged to provide a more complete picture of your overall health. Did you get the chart? Yes. Yeah. Yearly visits are very important to your obstetrician gynecologist. As women, we are nurturers and caretakers, and we commonly put ourselves last. It's very important to maintain those visits and keep them as close to a year increment as possible. This piece was produced by the New York State Chapter of the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, ACOG. For more information about cervical cancer and women's health, please visit acogny.org. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, Women's Healthcare Physicians.